Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Wednesday, March 22, uh, 2023. Let's take a look at the uh, Forex calendar today. It looks like we are going to have a very busy day on the markets. We all know that the key event of today is the Fed interest rate decision scheduled for release at 7 p.m. And the market participants expect Fed to hike from 4.75% to 5%. Together with the Fed interest rate decision, we will receive the FOMC economic projections and then, of course, 30 minutes later, there is a scheduled press conference as well. The other important data are CPI from the UK, from the United Kingdom, which is supposed to decrease 0.2% from 10.1% to 9.9%. We have a speech from the ECB President Christine Lagarde, scheduled for release at quarter to nine, uh, sorry, quarter to 10. Then we have, of course, crude oil uh, inventories from the US, scheduled for release at half past three. Nevertheless, the key event of the day, Fed interest rate decision is still the most important one in this week and in this month as well so in this situation let's take a look on that market that might be affected with the fed interest rate decision of course first we are going to start with euro dollar the four hour chart of the euro dollar looks um, very very good for bulls why because we are right now testing the technical resistance key technical resistance uh, 1.0789 this is the uh, level that needs to be violated in order for the market to go higher as you can see the previously this level uh, acted as a support then it was broken then it was resistance resistance again and now we are testing it uh, as the regular support resistance um, uh, levels switching uh, occurred once again in the market so that's nothing new for the technical uh, traders the market participants um, can observe that the uh, rsi hit the level of 70 which means that we hit the uh that, that, that it means that the market is uh, trading during the extremely overbought conditions on the four hour chart so um we should take this into the account so maybe the market participants will wait mm, a little bit patiently here for a little bit until the interest rate decision will be uh, triggered of course any hike more than um 0.25 percent will result in a massive sell-off uh, because um of course the us dollar will be even uh, more expensive than it is right now so market participants most likely will start to sell the euro and buy the dollar while it is still a little bit cheaper than it will be uh, next day because um, uh, any kind of a mm, um, movement above this technical resistance will likely means that the risk is on again and the market doesn't care anymore about the interest rate decision which is actually uh, before the fed interest rate decision not true at all uh, so that might be massive change um, in the sentiment if we see like a big spike to the upside on the euro uh, dollar so um this is the situation uh, very very simple situation here before the uh, fed's interest rate decision on the uh, euro dollar as you can see we are trading we are trading inside of the very very narrow range as you can see the market is almost not moving uh, at all there's no volatility because everyone is waiting for the interest rate uh, decision for it's almost it's almost uh, tw 20 hours already when we are trading inside this uh, two uh, between these two levels the highs of the uh, 1.0760 and the highs here at 1.0789 so this is roughly 30 pips range so nothing new here we should not expect the market uh, participants to change their mind and start to uh, trade uh, very very 
uh, fast and, and very, very often before the Fed interest rate decision. Overall, um, the situation on the euro dollar looks very, very uh, positive for the for the bulls. Nevertheless, please take a look uh, and consider the fact that interest rate decision is coming. U.S. dollar index, uh, on the other hand, is uh, has been moving down. Euro dollar has been moving up. It's obvious, right? So let's just take a look, maybe not on the four hour chart, but on a daily time frame chart, because what do we see here is a clear rejection of the 100 periods moving average, test of the 50 periods, then again bounce, and then finally breakout. Where are we heading to? We are heading towards this low, the low from the beginning of the February 2023 located at 100.79 so this is the technical uh, technical support on the other hand on the US dollar index the key technical resistance is located roughly around the level of 109.33 nevertheless there is still a long road for the bulls okay in order to get to either technical resistance or the technical support right now this market has been seen trading between the moving averages sometimes above it sometimes below so um it's just going whips out trading up and down up and down nothing new is being observed here nevertheless the long-term trend or maybe the mid-term trend not the long term but the mid-term trend looks uh, bearish for the US dollar if the Fed will deliver today so if it hikes to the 5% most of this hike is already in price okay it's already been uh, incorporated into the prices already but uh, if the Fed will over deliver and hike more than 0.25% we should see big spike big spike uh, to the upside over 105.85 uh, uh, over um, first over 100 I guess it would be uh, 5 and uh, oh, uh, oh 07 then oh 05 uh, oh 105 uh, 70 because the market participants will start to buy the, the US dollar uh, and uh, the, this US dollar index which is a basket of the uh, US dollar against the other currencies will show us very 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 big spike to the um, upside so that's the situation uh, situation with the US dollar we are going to take a look at the gold and the daily time frame chart of the gold as you can see is showing us very nice rebound from the 100 periods moving average very big and sharp movement to the upside and recently what we have is marubozu candle followed by the pin bar which looks kind of a ish like a shooting star ish and then we got the confirmation from yesterday big red candlestick to the downside so let's just take a look where is the newest high 2009 dollars per ounce of gold is the newest high this year then we have the pullback well the situation here is um what will be this, the the fed's decision because if the fed's decision will be that um, if the fed will deliver the interest rate as planned then of course the market will continue the up move the gold will continue the up move but if uh, if the hike will be bigger than uh, 0.25 percent uh, the gold will be uh, seen as the um, safe haven so everyone will basically shoot uh, every, tra every, tra every trader should then uh, of course sell the gold and and buy the uh, US um, dollar before is before it will be too late I mean before the US dollar will get even more expensive um, the main technical support is of course still at the same level this is the one thousand eight hundred and four dollars just before this big rally uh, has started so nothing new here uh, and uh, one uh, one more thing here with the daily time frame chart of the gold 
the market is coming off extremely overbought conditions so that's another situation that happened just before the fed interest rate decision that this pullback is purely uh, technical uh, how much the gold uh, moved to the upside we can see it here how many percent this is what i what i mean so the price range is from this low to this low, about, uh, uh, roughly 12 there you go 12 percent move 12 percent move within um this is four weeks yes this is four weeks 12 percent move in four weeks it's a very very nice move on gold market not that very often uh, seen of course on the spot gold market so it's worth to keep an eye on the current situation of gold um, s p 500 will be the last market and uh, on a daily time frame chart as you can see here not much is is happening except the fact that the the bulls are trying to move to the upside move to the upside in order to and uh, to be ready for the risk on movement right risk on uh, move above the 4001 uh, yeah 4080 points uh, level so this is the technical resistance basically this is it that's the technical resistance 4050 the local high 4080 and the uh, market is approaching this levels but in the meantime we have 150 periods moving averages so this is very very good zone for the bears because as you can see here they can push the prices lower and made a new local low again the same situation might be here if fed delivers the um, 0.25 interest rate hike this is very good zone to make another move to the downside okay so please be focused around the level of 4019 4050 eventually 4080 so on the s p 500 um, index uh last but not least okay the bitcoin of course we have to say something about the bitcoin plenty of the cryptocurrency traders these days so daily time frame chart looks like the bitcoin rally is being uh, is losing the steam is losing the momentum moreover it starts to look maybe let's that the daily time frame chart let's switch to the four hour look at this it starts to become the the um uh as you can see here yeah it starts to become uh, the wedge the ending wedge it starts to become uh making the uh, the falling wedge pattern yeah so, uh, sorry the ri rising wedge pattern so what we should expect here is some massive sell-off uh, massive sell-off um you know as for the four hour uh, time frame chart of course not not like a for the weekly time frame chart but massive sell of towards i guess this would be the the target around uh, around 24 dollars uh, for the uh, for the us uh, for the bitcoin right so so 25000 us dollars for the uh, for the bitcoin uh, momentum extremely elevated um, still trading uh, around the level of 70 uh, but no 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 breakout towards the level of the 50 which is the neutral level which means that we got some kind of a pullback or correction so uh, maybe maybe after the fed's interest rate decision uh this market will give uh traders a little bit of a pause and uh, go a little bit lower like uh four thousand dollars lower for example uh, towards twenty four thousand in order to do this corrective cycle and then resume the uptrend eventually so that was my outlook uh, for the um, uh, various assets before the fed's interest rate decision please remember 7 p.m tonight uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, analysis this short video and i hope i see you guys next time take care and bye bye